A man has fallen for Haman Sama in Lego City. Launch the Double Zeta. Hey! Build the Double Zeta Gundam and show that win what the price of Axis Eagle Bathwater truly is. New Double Zeta Gundam sets. Each set sold separately. If there is any unit in Gundam vs Zeta that could be called a jack of all trades, it would be the Double Zeta Gundam. It's large, heavy, and somewhat well armed, while retaining decent mobility and melee moveset. While it unfortunately doesn't transform like in the 1986 anime and lacks a lot of attacks introduced in the later games, it can put up quite the fight. Piloted by one of the biggest badasses of the Universal Century, Judo Ashta, the Double Zeta is a mobile suit with a rather steep cost of 375 points, putting it alongside Kubelay, Zeta and D.O. Since I did bring up the fact that it has some neat weapons, I'm going to cover them right now. The Double Zeta has two equipment variations to choose from and it will affect both its ranged performance as well as melee moves. These two loadouts mainly differ in what the primary weapon is. The standard double beam rifle hits fairly hard and can be shot while moving. The double beam cannon stops you in place but gives you more damage output and slightly more consistent knockdown opportunities. The beam cannon shots also fly towards the center of the target. Regardless of what you pick, you will have the high mega cannon as your secondary weapon. After a short windup where the double zeta strikes an iconic pose from the series, it fires a powerful beam, which is technically one of the game's two Gorobis, aside from the Super Gundam. Now for the melee combos. All in all, the Double Zeta is essentially your team's workhorse. It's a big target, but it can both take and deal a lot of damage, given the right circumstances. You should also take into account that this mobile suit has 4 shields in total, covering its sides. The Double Beam Cannon loadout benefits from this greatly. Since with both of its hands free, the Double Zeta's shields are fully extended whenever you use the cannons. Besides, once you get used to the melee, you can effectively suppress enemies at close range. It's not even funny how you can move punish people. In short, it's a solid high-end unit, whose main downsides are its size and its cost. I'll cover the unlock conditions for this mobile suit in a proper unlock guide, but for those who can't wait, I'll put a link on the screen as well as in the comments. Next up on the video queue when it comes to unit guides are the Zuda and the Gaplands, though you're more than free to suggest more stuff for me to cover in the comments. That being said, have a good one. Shirtblade, signing out.